So our other 75 gallon plan for the Oscar didn't exactly work out. And our 55 gallon was starting to make some pretty horrifying cracking noises. So we decided it was about time to pick up another 75 gallon set from PetSmart and make her the perfect home, which I thought I nailed it. But Tom told me I should never try to aquascape a tank again and took over. I had the breakfast of champions while well, he did his thing. And this thing turned out to be pretty awesome. Now due to Oscar's liking to destroy everything, we decided to take some cotton balls and super glue and really solidify all these pieces into one unit. Which filling up was horrifying because we thought all the driftwood was going to start floating, but it didn't. So we decided to plant it using a bunch of different mosses and anubias and all of the plants that we used will be in the description below. Now due to the mentioned cracking that our 55 gallon was making, we decided that we were going to do an immediate transfer instead of cycling the tank by taking all of the good medium bacteria from her hang on back filter and transferring it into the new canister filter. Now cycling a tank is always going to be best in an ideal situation, but having a 55 gallon burst on the floor is not an ideal situation. And neither is having to move an Oscar. Now, she was not happy with this move at all. Uh, she is two weeks in and still continuing to play dead when the lights are on. Um, she is a very large drama queen. Very happy, very healthy, and when the lights are off, she is more than happy to explore her tank, but when the lights come on, she is just pouting, playing like she's dead, throwing temper tantrums. It's just what Oscars do. To really make this feel like it's its own little environment, we have been adding guppy calls as well as ghost shrimp regularly. We've never really seen her bother the guppies or the ghost shrimp. The biter in there will eat them, but they do have a lot of aquascape to hide in. Now, for those who may be wondering if she is sick or ill, she is perfectly healthy. She really is just a drama queen. And here you can see when the lights are off, she will come right up. She will say hello because she is getting her way. And the second the lights go on, she is right back down to laying down. This is actually a behavior that she has had since she was a little tiny baby at our local fish store. They nicknamed her Possum because she's just that much of a drama queen. I know I've said drama queen a hundred times, but there's just, there's no other way to describe how overly extra she is. So we really love how this tank turned out overall and we can't wait to show you how it develops over time as we add more plants and little life to really make it the perfect ecosystem.